Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use a VPN when you're gaming. Now, while there are a lot of reasons to use a VPN when you're gaming, actually using a VPN is not that difficult. So the first step is to make sure that you have a good high quality VPN that can still give you good performance and speed while you're gaming. Personally, I would recommend either this one right here, ExpressVPN, NordVPN, or Surfshark. I've tested out a bunch of different VPNs, and I've found that these three tend to perform the best when I'm gaming. I'll leave more links and information about these VPNs in the description below, but regardless of which VPN you decide to go with, in order to use it, all you're going to have to do is go to the part where you can choose your location. So in ExpressVPN, for example, that would mean clicking on this location bar. That opens up a window with all of the different countries I can connect to, Express has 105 and both Nord and Surfshark also have at least a hundred countries that you can choose from. From there, you're going to want to select whichever country it is that suits your needs best, depending on what you need when you're gaming. After you click on the country, you should automatically be connected up to that location. And now whenever you go into your game, you're going to be routed directly over to the location that you chose in the VPN. So for example, let's say you were trying to get better or more stable speed or more accurately ping when you're gaming. Ping is the amount of time that it takes information to go from your computer to the game and back to you. So if your ping is very high, you're gonna wind up with a game that's choppy and laggy. In some cases, you might not even be able to play. Whereas if your ping is low, then everything is going to be smooth and the gameplay is gonna be great. Now, what can happen is that your internet service provider, your ISP, might send your internet connection through a bunch of different stops before getting over to the gaming server. And that can lead to high or unstable ping. Another way you can wind up with high ping is if your ISP is throttling your internet connection. A lot of times, if you're doing something that requires a lot of data like streaming or gaming, then your ISP will intentionally slow down your internet. So while the actual data coming from your internet to your ISP might be traveling at 80 megabits per second, from the ISP to you, it's only going to be 20 megabits per second. In both of these cases, a VPN server can help you by allowing you to connect to a VPN server that's as close as possible to the nearest game server to your physical location. When you do that, your internet connection is essentially bypassing whichever route your ISP wants it to take and going straight to the VPN server and then to the game server. And on top of that, your ISP can't see what you're doing online. They can't see that you're gaming or that you're streaming and therefore they can't throttle your connection. So let's say you were playing Call of Duty or Warzone. You can usually find a map like this for whichever game it is that you're playing. So let's say you lived in the United States, maybe in the Midwest, and the closest gaming server to you would be this one right here in Salt Lake City in Utah. So once I know that, I would go over to my VPN, ExpressVPN, and click on the location bar, and I'd find the closest VPN server to that gaming server. And in this case, I believe that would be this one right here, USA Denver. I'll just click on that and connect up to the server in the VPN. Now, it's very important to do this before you have opened up your game. So I would do this before I even start up Call of Duty. It's only once I'm connected in the VPN that I would then go and start up Warzone. Now, it happens to be that with Warzone, you can actually use a VPN to also get easier bot lobbies. But in this case, you would want to do almost the opposite. You would want to find a server that's far away from you, somewhere where there aren't a lot of people playing the game, maybe somewhere where it's at a time of day, like really early in the morning when not a lot of people are going to be playing the game. Uh, and you would want to try to connect up to that gaming server. So let's say you were in the US, you might want to try to connect to the Brazilian gaming server, right? You want it to be far enough away that that you'll get easier lobbies, but not so far that you're gonna get ping that's so high that you can't even play the game. So if I wanted to try to get easier lobbies in Warzone and I lived in the US, I would go into my VPN and connect to the closest possible Brazilian server to the one in Sao Paulo. Some other ways that you can use a VPN when you're gaming is in order to access games or DLCs that are not available in your location. You can connect to a different part of the world in your VPN, and then it's going to seem like you're in that location when you go on Steam or whichever application it is you're using to buy games, and you can access games that aren't available where you physically live. On top of that, in many stores and games, you can actually try changing your location with a VPN in order to get the games for a cheaper price. The VPN locations I would recommend for this would either be Turkey, Argentina, or Kazakhstan. Now, on top of all of this, a VPN also gives you increased security and privacy when you're gaming. And this can be helpful in competitive lobbies where people might try to do DDoS attacks. A VPN can hide your IP address, making it impossible for you to be the victim of one of these attacks. 
And in particular, the three VPNs that I recommend are well known as being some of the most secure and trusted VPNs out there. They all have an audited no logs policy, meaning that outside companies have come in and checked them out to ensure that they're really secure and that they don't keep any personal user information. Even if a government agency would come to them and try to request personal information from one of their users, they wouldn't have it. Your internet activity, your browsing activity, what you're doing when you're gaming, everything is completely anonymous. Now, in terms of which one of these might be the best for you, ExpressVPN is the simplest and, in my opinion, the most powerful. They've really invested everything that they have into making sure that this VPN is super safe and secure, very fast, and just works well. That being said, it doesn't come with a lot of features and add-ons, and it also doesn't have the most countries to choose from. If you want that, go with NordVPN. This one just has a ton of features such as specialty servers like Onion over VPN connecting you up to the Onion network. There are add-ons like Threat Protection Pro, which is basically a mini antivirus. And you also have 165 countries to choose from across 7,900 servers, which is just a crazy amount and the most of pretty much any VPN that you're going to find. Lastly, if you're on a budget, but you still want to get a high quality VPN, then I would definitely recommend Surfshark. This is the cheapest of the three, but at the same time, it is a very solid option. You're going to get a hundred countries to choose from, a nice set of features, and some pretty decent speeds. Regardless of which one you do want to try out, there will be full in-depth reviews and discount links as well in the description below that will save you some extra money. They all have a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you can take advantage of that to try them out and see if it's for you, see if it works well when you're gaming and if you like it you can stay with it if not you can just contact customer support and get a full refund so that's going to be it for this video guys let me know in the comments which vpn you decided to go with thank you so much for watching have an amazing day and i'll see you in the next one